Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live, coming to you live from Clarence in the Eastern Free State. This is part of the Morning Live's road show, whereby we're going around the country to tell the stories of the ordinary people on the ground. We basically look at the socio-economic issues. So here in Clarence, we have looked at the issue of development in the area. We've looked at the issue of tourism. But now it's time to focus a little bit on the education side of things. So you'd, you'd probably know that the Free State Provincial Government is actually taking care of the young people in this province by providing those that are actually performing well in their studies with bursaries to, to further their studies. So with me now is one of the beneficiaries of the Free State Provincial Government Bursary Scheme. He is a, a medical virology student. He comes from Clarence, the outskirts of Clarence, and then he will be talking to us about his career as a, a future virologist, I believe. His name is Victor Mabaza. Victor, good morning to you and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Australia. Thanks for having me on your show. Thank you very much for having taken your time out from Pretoria just to be with us. Are you studying at University of Pretoria, right? Yes, I'm currently a master's student at the University of Pretoria Medical Campus. Yes. Just give us your background, Victor. You, Oshahama Plasing, not necessarily from the location, not from town, but from the outskirts of, of Clarence. Refer background to high just a little. Okay, I'll spell it like Oshahama Plasing, which is... Uh, around 11 kilometers outside Lawrence and Kikeni Skolo on the farm for about nine years. Then I moved to Bethlehem where I did my matric, Kikeni into secondary school. And then when I was in matric, I did really well. So I was in the Free State Top 100 matriculants in 2011 and then the Free State Provincial Government gave me a bursary to study. And 2012 to 2014, I was at the University of Pretoria, Kihona Mekinze, my BSc Biotechnology. And then last year, I qualified for Medi uh, medical virology honors, and now I'm done. So at the moment, I'm busy with my master's in medical virology. Yo, Victor, master's again in Bukalona. How do you manage? I was like, I'm so it's what I'm saying. You have to put in effort. My background is going to motivate me. So yeah, tell, tell us about your background. You, you're mentioning one important issue here, your yes. background. Yes. You know, having, you know, lived in the farms and you, grow, you grew up there, mm -hmm. uh, how was it? How, how was life like? As well as it's not easy. My parents are domestic workers. My dad is a general worker at the farm. So it's the, condition, the conditions are not good. So you want to motivate and go, you want to do better, you want to live better than your parents and you want to provide for them. So once you have an opportunity like this where the government says, here's money, go study for free, and then you, you do your best, you give it your best. So so, your background does not necessarily determine who you are or who you will be in the future. I was like, 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 Take us through, as you know, explain to us briefly what does a medical virologist do? A medical virologist, um, we study viruses. Okay. That's the simplest way I can put it. We study viruses and how they infect us as humans. So, right now, what we do at our lab is we are an enteric virus lab. So, what we do, we study viruses, enteric viruses. And what the, is an enteric virus? Okay, enteric viruses are the viruses that affect us, they cause diseases in our. Gastric, okay. gastric system, yes, camping, do your nauseas, you can uh, get um, gastroenteritis and so on. So now what you're doing now is it's a surveillance in South Africa, we're doing a surveillance to see which viruses are currently circulating in the country. And we are trying to establish a norovirus surveillance in South Africa. So that, that's what we're doing at the moment. And you were telling me yesterday that uh, that is not properly documented here in South Africa. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, South Africa, we don't have a proper reporting system for uh, some of the gastro-causing viruses. So now we are trying to um, document uh, the surveillance of what we have in the country at the moment and compare to what is circulating in the other countries mm. around the world. Yes. Now, Bachabamo, in terms of education, how committed are they? Our students, our youth, Mona in Clarence, most of them, they don't have dreams. Happy sometimes having a dream alone is not enough. We have to work day and night to achieve your dream. Mm -hmm. If you're not happy where you are at the moment, you have to make something about it. You have to do something about it. You have to go out there, get a skill, whatever. 
finish that course on asylum so batla ho iqetella you know make something out of your life so what wa ngata bahloka ntho they don't have a dream and a, a dream is really important invest in your education like i was something cuz how when you have education how na motho ka engang ho tla ho wena now tell us how, how would you like to to contribute you know when once you complete your your studies would you would you like to come back to Clarence how would you like to contribute towards the development of the area I'll definitely come back to the Free State, maybe not specifically to Lawrence, but maybe Bluefontaine. Um, I would love to actually develop uh, research, especially in virology, and then yeah, creating awareness about virology. Okay. And, yeah. and then you were telling me that you're, you, you spoke about dreams, that one should have dreams in order to, 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 to get somewhere in life. Mm -hmm. Now you were telling me that your dream is to actually obtain your PhD at the age of 30. How old are you now? I'm 23 years old now, and I'm finishing my master's next year, August. And hopefully by then, I'll be able to apply for PhD and get my PhD when I'm 27. Okay, no, are you certain that you complete it next year? Definitely. Yeah, next what year. makes you so confident? I'm self-driven, I'm self-motivated. So I get lucky someone from outside to motivate me. I know what I want in life. So when I set my mind to something, I make sure I achieve that goal. Back so, where are your parents now? Are they still living in the farm? Yes, my parents still live on the farm. Yes, they're still at the farm. But they, they, they must be proud, proud of you. They're really proud of me. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure every day that Kibets are proud. Mm. So yes, they're proud. Yeah. And you must be proud of your provincial government. I'm very proud of the Free State Provincial Government. But even in even in Gauteng, they do say Hore, the Free State Provincial Government is the best compared to other provinces. Mm -hmm. They do their best, and I'm really proud. Kantuang is a designer. I'm thankful. Okay, Victor, that's where we're going to leave it. But good luck with your studies. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be a next time. It's going to be a medical virologist coming from the Free State Province. Good luck. Handla, hola, spale, sakalibu. Realibu, there you have it. Give Victor Mabasa, uh, one of the young people. Also, I'm a blessing at Clarence, and he's studying towards medical virology at the University of the Pretoria. He is one of the beneficiaries of uh, Bazaar Schemia, the Free State Provincial Government, telling us his story, his background, where he comes from, and where he's heading. Doroya High is to obtain his PhD at the age of 30 is now 23 and he's doing his master's in medical virology. Well, we're taking a break. When we come back, there's still more to come from Clarence. Stay tuned.